Have you ever found a penny that you think may be valuable? Well, today we are looking at mint error coins that are worth a lot more money than their face values. Some of these coins sell for, you know, 30 bucks. Some of them sell for hundreds of dollars and uh, up to almost, you know, even a thousand dollars at auction. So let's first off start here with the 2000 Lincoln cent. Now this penny has been double struck. You can see that clearly in the image displayed here. The coin is also graded and authenticated by PCGS, a coin grading company at a Mint State 67 red. So it's been double struck. It strikes 10% off center. It's in pretty good condition. That's why this coin sold for around $75 at auction. Next up is another penny from the year 2000. This Lincoln cent has been struck through a late stage capped die. So the die is what has the design on it. It comes down and strikes the planchet in order to create the coin. Uh, this was struck through a cap die. You'll see here on the reverse, looks pretty normal for the most part. But this coin ended up selling for around $41 at auction. These can sell for a lot more money depending on uh, you know what the coin looks like, what date the coin is, what type of coin this mint error is taking place on. So for this case, $41 graded by Annex at a Mint State 62 red. Now this next coin here only sold for around $32. It's from 2001. It's been broad struck, which you can see around the rim of the coin. Now again, this is an error that can give uh, maybe a different coin a lot more value than $32. Uh, but in this case, for a modern coin like this, it's not very, very noticeable. It's not extreme, but it is a broad strike mint error, 32 bucks for that penny. Next up is a 2001 Lincoln cent that has been double struck, and both of those strikes are off center. This coin sold for nearly $100 at auction. You can see that design struck twice. Uh, pretty obvious, again, mint error you know if you're just going through your change something like this is going to stand out like a sore thumb you don't really have to inspect it too closely to find something like this now this is a 2002 lincoln penny that sold for 126 dollars at auction it does have a couple different mint errors on the coin uh, the coin has been broad struck and double struck so you'll see uh, the broad strike around the rim of the coin of course and then this coin is also graded at a Mint State 65 by Annex. The last coin was a Mint State 65 as well by NGC. This is by Annex. And this coin, like I say, sold for $126. Now here is a 2003. We're getting more modern here as we go. We're going to go up into, I think, the year 2020. Uh, this is a 2003 Lincoln Penny that has a tilted partial collar. Again, you see that around the rim of the coin here. The coin sold for $37. Not extremely valuable, but if you want to have this coin graded to keep in your collection, you know, uh, you know that's what I do with some lower end, lower end coins. Uh, but in some cases, you know, if you're trying to make money on this, you're not really making uh, much money at all uh, when you're selling it for $37 after you pay to have the coin graded. Now, this next coin sold for $930, nearly a $1,000 coin. And you'll see this error on a lot of uh, videos that I cover on coins. It is a double denomination where we have a 2007 Lincoln cent that was struck onto a Roosevelt dime. So you see both designs of the penny and the dime here. Uh, it's a very rare mint error. These sell for really big money. Uh, some of them sell for thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, this is 2007, so you know it can take place on multiple different dates. Uh, pretty cool mint error, one of my favorite types of mint errors. Graded by PCGS, almost a thousand bucks there. Now here's a 2017 Lincoln cent. Uh, we'll have the new reverse design, the shield uh, reverse here on this Lincoln cent. And this penny ended up selling for $264. It looks normal on the front, the obverse of the coin, but on the back, the reverse of the coin. Uh, it has been struck through, so that's why it's all faded out as a result of that. The coin is graded and authenticated by NGC. Now, this next coin is a 2020 Lincoln cent. Again, looks very normal here on the obverse, but here on the reverse, you'll see that it has a retained cud. So you can look for these uh, die cracks, cuds, die chips on all kinds of different coins, even these modern coins in this case, a 2020 coin. This coin is graded by PCGS at a Mint State 66 red, and the coin sold for $660 for a 2020 penny, $660. Now here's another 2020 penny that was struck off center. 
Uh, it sold for around $55. You know, like I say, a coin from, you know, the 1800s could be struck off center. You know, a coin from 1972. It all depends on the coin, the date, uh, the condition, things. All those things will affect the value. In this case, 2020 penny struck 5% off center, graded by PCGS at a mint state 63 red. Ended up selling for $55. Now, here is a 2020 mint error to look for as well. This penny here has been struck through on the obverse of the coin. It is graded and authenticated by NGC at a mint state 64 red. And that is a very obvious mint error as well. Uh, you know, wouldn't take much to catch this when you're going through pocket change or when you're even going through coin rolls from the bank, coin roll hunting. This coin ended up selling for $144 at auction. So always inspect your coins closely. Never pass up a valuable mint error uh, because you know they could make you a lot more money than their face values. So feel free to check out my other coin videos here on the page. We are uploading coin videos, collectible videos every single day. And don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Feel free to check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear. Thank you.